good afternoon to all our uh, topic is clubbing of income this topic will be included in the income tax subject for bcom clubbing of income and its uh, special circumstances are here first of all we we need to discuss what you mean by clubbing of income so clubbing of income means in certain cases another person's income will be clubbed with the particular assessee so really income is earned by another person but that another person's income will be clubbed to the assessee's income so that particular situation we can call it as clubbing of income so example i am earning income of 50, uh, rupees 50000 and uh, sir's relative my relative is earning 50000 so tax sometimes will be calculated in sir's name that is 50000 plus our uh, sir's relative's income 50000 is equal to 1 lakh rupees will be taxed in sir's name or uh, this assessee's name that process is called clubbing of income so maybe in order to find out the tax evasion certain incomes will be clubbed to the transferer or if sir is transferring one asset to another person even though he is earning income by using that particular asset so income will be calculated in assessees this particular assessees in the name of this assessee that particular case is called clubbing of income so the simple meaning is another person's income will be added to assessee's income and uh, total of that particular income is taxed on assessee's uh, name that particular uh, process we can call it as clubbing of income what are the circumstances uh, following are the circumstances in which certain income sir clubbed to the assessee's income or another person's income is clubbed to the assessee's income so first one is these are the some of the important situations in which another persons or our relatives maybe wife maybe children or any other near relatives income will be clubbed with us so first one is transfer of income without transferring the property if an assessee transferring the income to another person or spouse children or relatives without transferring the property without transferring the property means example if a building rent is transferring to uh, an assessee's wife or relatives or any other friends relatives etc so that particular case is called transfer of income without transferring the property that means a building's rent i am transferring to uh, my uh, wife or any relatives is th this is the first case transfer of income without transferring the property so the meaning is if i am transferring the income or rent from that particular property to my relatives then the relatives can receive that particular income but that income tax will be levied sir's name or assessee's name that point is called transfer in transfer of income without transferring the property so in order to avoid the tax or in order to uh, avoid the tax sometimes assessee may be just transfer his income or asset to another person but law says that this uh, if you transfer this property or income to another person it is not a problem but the income tax will be levied in transferor's name so uh, the person who transfer the asset or income is called transferor and uh, the person who receives the income or asset is called a transferee so even though transferee is receiving the income but the tax will be levied in the hands of the transferor that is the meaning of transfer of income without transferring the property here building i am not transferring to that particular person instead of building i am giving the rent to that particular person so even though i am i am giving the rent 
to the second person, the income tax will be measured or income tax will be levied in the hands of the transferor. So, this, the law says that one cannot escape from the legal measures or legal uh, p uh, penalties or fees from, uh, we cannot es escape from that particular fees or penalty. So, that is the meaning of clubbing of income. So, next one is, so the second situation is income from asset transferred with a condition of revocation. So, here second point, this is the point you have to remember, revocation. So, that means if uh, I am transferring the property to an, a second person and a, a condition is that you have to revoke or you have to return this asset from a particular or from two or three years, you have to revoke or you have to return this property. If that condition is there, the income from that particular asset will be measured or levied in the transferor or in the hands of the transferor. So, this is the second, second case, income from asset transferred with a condition of revocation. You can transfer the asset, no problem, but within a, uh, with a uh, reasonable remuneration or within a reasonable consideration. If you transfer the asset with the condition of revocation, that means I am uh, giving this asset to you, but you have to return this asset within or after three or four years. So, if cond that condition is there, the income from that particular asset will be measured or levied in the hands of the transfer. That is the second case, income from asset transferred with a condition of revocation. So, the third one is income of spouse. Income of spouse means, here uh, what do you mean by spouse? Spouse means in husband's point of view, wife is spouse and in wife's point of view, husband is spouse. So, income of spouse means here uh, the explanation is, explanation I can uh, see, uh, tell with a, by using one example, income of spouse. If A and B are there, husband and wife and A's, A, A's uh, ownership, a hospital is there and wife is working there as uh, a superior, in a, in a superior position and she is drawing a salary of more than 1 lakh or 2 lakh. But actually that salary will be levied or that salary will be taxed in the name of the A because A is that owner of that particular hospital. Because in order to evade the tax, maybe A husband will be giving more remuneration to that wife. So even though wife is receiving 2 or 3 lakh salary, that salary's income tax will be levied by A because A is the owner of that particular hospital or A is the so A is the person who have the su substantial interest on that particular hospital, substantial interest. Please remember, substantial interest means maybe majority of the share will be held by that particular person. But in this case, that wife is working as a doctor in that particular hospital. The income earned by her, that particular doctor is levied in, in the name of that particular a, a, a husband and B is wife, so in B's name income will be come and it will be taxed in the name of that particular doctor. So income of spouse is the third case. And fourth case is income of daughter-in-law. We know that daughter-in-law means uh, son's wife we can call it as daughter-in-law. Daughter -in if any asset transferred to daughter-in-law by the father-in-law. Remember, once again I am repeat, income of daughter-in-law, that means any income or any asset transferred by the father-in-law to the daughter-in-law. In the eyes of law, it is a transaction, its aim is to evade the tax. So, it, we cannot, if any income is there by using this uh, father-in-law's income or father-in-law's asset, this income will be taxed in the hands of father-in-law or in the name of father-in-law. So, uh, sometimes we will give uh, certain amounts to father, uh, daughter-in-law, 
But sometimes you will think that, oh, that income will be taxed in the name of daughter-in-law. It is entirely wrong. It will be taxed in the hands of father-in-law. But please remember one thing. If that asset is transferred to daughter-in-law with a lawful consideration, with a lawful consideration, the income from this particular asset will be taxed in the name of daughter-in-law. So, if an asset is transferring without any adequate consideration, any income earned by daughter-in-law will be taxed in the name of transferer or father-in-law. And the fifth one is income from asset transferred to a person or AOP for the benefit of the spouse. So here remember this point, person or AOP. Income from asset transferred to a person or AOP. AOP means association of persons. Person or AOP for, for what purpose? For the benefit of the spouse. So for the benefit of the spouse, husband or wife is transferring any asset to the person or any businessman or AOP or any business partnership like that business. Any income earned by this particular persons will be taxed in the name of transferer or in the hands of transferer. Example, if I am transferring particular income or asset to the any other businessman or AOP, business, AOP means uh, association of persons, any income earned by them or for the benefit of spouse. I am transferring the income or asset to the, uh, these persons to the benefit of spouse. Any income earned by that particular uh, business will be taxed in the hands of the transferer. Okay, so the sixth one is the same point but certain different, uh, one difference is there. Income from asset to a person or AOP for the benefit of daughter-in-law. Any income or asset transferred to person or AOP, to a person or AOP for what? For the benefit of daughter-in-law. For the do uh, benefit of daughter-in-law, father-in-law is investing any amount to a particular asset or in any business, whatever may be the investment, the income will be taxed not in the hands of daughter-in-law but in the hands of or in the name of father-in-law. Here in the name of transferer, any income received. So please listen here, fifth one, any income received from person or AOP by the spouse, by the spouse will be taxed in the, in the name of the transferer. If husband is investing any income for the benefit of wife, or wife is investing any income or asset for the benefit of spouse will be taxed in the hands of the transferer. That means who transfer the asset. Okay, sixth one. Then seventh, income of minor child. This is special case. Income of minor child, whether it is clubbed or not. Income of minor child, of course will be clubbed with the income of parents having greater income. If uh, father and mother, mother is earning 1 lakh rupees and uh, father is earning 50,000, the higher income, uh, higher income is mother's income, that is 1 lakh. So this minor child's income will be clubbed with the mother's income because mother's income is 1 lakh and father's income is 50,000, having greater income. I, in, in our example, mother's income is greater. So the income of minor child will be clubbed with the income of mother. So here certain uh, some, more, some more amount, some more points you have to remember is if minor child is physically disabled or differently abled, its income cannot be clubbed with his or her parents. Or if the minor child is having uh, the quality of uh, uh, art like uh, dance or uh, magic or like that uh, natural abilities are there or qualities are there, that particular income or by using that uh, um, ability 
uh, he or she is earning income, that income cannot be clubbed with his or her parents. And uh, one more thing is, if a minor child is, uh, by doing his physical, uh, physic or by doing physical work, he's, he, he or she is earning some income, cannot be clubbed with uh, his or her pa uh, parents' income. So these are the certain exceptions relating to income of minor child. So remember, income of minor child will be clubbed with his or her parents having greater income, but some of the exceptions are there. One is he is differently abled, the income will be taxed or income will be measured in the name of that particular minor or uh, uh, phys physically handicapped or disabled. Then uh, he or she has the ability of born ability by using that born ability, he or she is earning income. The parents cannot be clubbed his or her income to that particular uh, name. And one more is there by using his physical uh, power or physic, he, is, uh, he or she is earning income. It cannot be clubbed with the income of minor, uh, income of the parents. Then, and the next one is, eighth one is cross transfer. Cross transfer is concerned. Uh, cross transfer will be clubbed with the income of the transferer. So, by using one example, A, B, C, D. By using this example, we can explain cross transfer. A is an associate, B is an associate, and these A and B are friends. And in order to avoid the tax, A's income is transferred to D because uh, B is a relative of D and A is a relative of C. So A transfer to D and at the same time B transfer to B transfer his income to C in order to avoid the tax. This process is called a cross transfer. So in this example, here A transferred this income here. But this income will be taxed not in the, in the name of this associate, in the name of this person. And here B transferred to C income, but C receiving in the income, but tax will be levied in the hands of B. This is the, uh, this process we can call it as cross transfer. In cross transfer also, income will be clubbed with the name of the transferer, name of the transferer. Here A is the transferer, B is the transferer. A is a relative of C or brother or sister, any point you, have, you can remember. Or B is a relative of D, uh, brother or sister you can remember. So A just transferred, likewise A and B are friends. A transferred, B transferred to C. So law says that it is a transfer um, have no validity. The law says that it is, this transaction is no value that is void, void, void means void ab initio, ab initio means at the spot it is null or nil or no value. So please listen, these are the two transferer, even though they uh, transferred any income, any amount of income, the income will be, income will be received by these two persons, but a tax will be levied by the law or income tax officer or Indian income tax department will be taxed by this person's name and this another person's name. That is the cross transfer. And uh, the ninth one is income from CP is there, that is income from converted property. So this point or this situation is related with, uh, this situation is related with uh, HEF. So what do you mean HEF? Hindu undivided family. So Hindu undivided families. Hindu undivided families, members we can call it as kapasanas or kapasanas. So any kapasana uh, gave his asset to the HEF is called converted property. He transferred his property to HEF family. That is called converted property. So income from converted property, any income from that particular converted property will be taxed in the name of kapasana, not in the name of Hindu HEF. Hindu undivided family, but in the name of the transferer. Here is transfer is kapasanas and not in the name of HEF. Income from converted property. You can give or you can transfer your asset to the 
uh, achieve a family if you are the kapasana but income is there any income is there it will be taxed in the name of kapasanas that is a uh, ninth case and the last case is binami transactions binami transaction means you know that the person who we transfer certain asset to the second person but he is not the owner of that particular asset is called binami so if binami transaction is there that uh, second person is being called as transferee or if even though transferee is receiving income tax will be levied by the transfer or the real owner of the asset so let us conclude clubbing of income means in certain cases another person's will, uh, income will be clubbed by the transferer these are the some of the important uh, cases or special cases in which uh, another person's income will be clubbed so please remember it is an important question in your exam thank you thank you all